Thanks for joining us for this week's Health News You Can Use. I'm Lindsay Stish. This week, we're talking about the impact COVID-19 can have on an athlete's heart, as well as guidelines for a return to play after a COVID infection. I'm here today with Dr. Anthony Magalski, cardiologist at St. Luke's Mid-America Heart Institute and medical director of St. Luke's Athletic Heart Clinic. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Lindsay. Great to be here. After nearly a year of the pandemic in the U.S., doctors now know that athletes are at much lower risk for developing myocarditis than originally thought early on. Caused by a viral infection, myocarditis can weaken the heart and lead to heart failure or sometimes sudden death. But there are still many important things to know about COVID-19's impact on an athlete's heart. Dr. Magalski, what are experts finding regarding COVID-19 and myocarditis? Well, uh, as you know, um, when we first started out, there, there were some uh, papers and studies and reports coming out that, that COVID affected the athlete's heart in a, in a disproportionate number, a very high number of, of people. And there were some early imaging studies that suggested that maybe as high as 50% of athletes who are recovering from a COVID infection had signs of myocarditis. Uh, those studies were questionable, and, and thankfully, there have been more studies done over the past six months where they used adequate controls comparing athletes to non-athletes and athletes to athletes who didn't have infection. And uh, the news is much more positive in that the, the number of athletes who have evidence of myocarditis after a COVID-19 infection is much lower than thought and probably on par with other viruses. That's good news. So what are the most common lasting effects athletes may see because of COVID-19? And what we're finding is, is what's really important is, is how symptomatic the athlete is with the infection. Uh, I've seen athletes who were asymptomatic to very mildly symptomatic compared to those who are more seriously affected or even hospitalized. And I think looking at those athletes in terms of their return to play and, and their lasting effects is, is determined, I, I think, a lot, as we can tell, on, on those initial symptoms. So in general, what are some symptoms or warning signs athletes should watch for and mention to their parents or doctors? The, mo the most common symptom I've seen with athletes, particularly after recovering from an infection, is a, a fairly prolonged um, period of time where they just feel uh, sluggish, if you will, and, and trying to return to sport under those circumstances can be problematic because they feel as though they can't keep up or do what they did prior to the infection. And athletes who are recovering from COVID-19 and haven't gotten back to their sport yet, when do they know if they should go see their doctor? Yeah, I think every athlete who uh, is recovering from COVID-19 probably should see their doctor before returning to competition or training. It's important that uh, the, the uh, provider see the patient, uh, do a thorough exam, and make sure there are no red flags or warning signs that they need to see a, a specialist. Are there any other specific concerns regarding the heart with athletes after they have recovered from COVID-19? Well, as we touched on, I mean, there is the, the small but real risk of myocarditis. And so, you know, one of the basic tenets uh, when you're taking care of these athletes initially is if they have fever, they have symptoms, they absolutely don't compete. They don't train, they don't play, uh, they don't practice. Um, once their quarantine period is up and they're asymptomatic, another sometimes 10 to 14 days is required because we still worry that in a small but, but real group of athletes, um, inflammation in the heart can persist. And in those cases, we worry about arrhythmias, uh, we worry about uh, decreased heart function, uh, and in rare cases, we worry about sudden cardiac death. What's your final takeaway message for those watching at home? It's not as bad as we feared. Uh, while the infection uh, can at times be uh, very serious, I think in the vast majority of cases uh, with proper quarantine and uh, restrict, restriction from sports, the athlete will recover without any long-term side effects. I think the one adverse or long-term effect that parents and athletes need to be on the lookout for is that 
kind of prolonged period of fatigue that may take them a little bit longer to get back to the level that they were at before the infection and just to be patient. And then finally, if there are any lingering symptoms uh, or concerns, uh, reach out to your primary care doctor or us and, and we'll be happy to help in any way we can. Thank you again, Dr. Mogulski, for joining us. Thank you, Lindsay. If you'd like to find out more about our Athletic Heart program, visit stlukeskc.org slash athleticheart. You can also stay up to date with all the latest developments on the COVID pandemic and other health news from St. Luke's at stlukeskc.org slash news. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time on Health News You Can Use.